hour now and this weekend, the Albuquerque Kings is hosting Albuquerque's fifth annual wheelchair basketball tournament. And it's a, a, sort of another instance where this sort of tournament, 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 I should say, is happening. Here with more on the Duke City Classic, Randy Haramio, Jacob Smallstreet, and Melanie Briones. We're glad that you all three have joined us this morning. Thanks so much. One thing I want to clear up first, this is the fifth time you guys have run this tournament, right? Okay, so it's more like a tradition now after five years. What a great thing. All right, Jacob, tell me about, uh, tell me about your organization, what it's all about. Remind folks who you are. So the Albuquerque Kings uh, wheelchair basketball team is part of uh, another organization called Global Opportunities Unlimited. Um, and our program specifically promotes um, physical activities as well as competition for disabled individuals. How long have you all been together? Um, the Albuquerque Kings has been around for probably about close to 15 years now, but wheelchair basketball in New Mexico in some form or iteration has been around for over 30 years. This has become, as I said, sort of a, a regular thing over the course of five years. How have, what kind of turnout have you seen and, and participation and, and excitement from the community about uh, getting out there and getting involved? It's been a good, good thing. It's grown. Mm -hmm. um, the very first tournament that we had, we maybe had four teams. Um, this year we have seven coming in, and so we're going to expect a good turnout, good set of competition. What can attendees expect who come in? Um, I definitely would have them expect some high intensity basketball. Um, I think a lot of people are under the interpretation that it's because it's wheelchair basketball, it's not that high speed or you know as intense as maybe stand-up basketball as they call it but they definitely get get some good action going so it's it's pretty exciting i was gonna say this these are some serious athletes they are yeah definitely <laughs> <laughs> now how many i assume there's room for teams to come in and register now if they want to or does it is it all one that's hosted already div divided up already yeah we usually um have teams register um up until a month before the okay. tournament so the tournament's pretty set already only because they're you know making the schedule and take some time before that we like to have teams be prepared before they come in so this is really about crowd participation right getting people to come and watch and enjoy it yes yeah all right so again tell us uh, tell us where we can get more information about it where it'll be and and uh, what ticket prices look like and all that so it's it's free to the public it's gonna be at Johnson gyms South gym and um, the games start at 8:30, and we will be having a full set of games Saturday and Sunday that sounds great. Are other states going to be represented there as well? Is it just uh, Albuquerque? Uh, yeah, we actually have uh, teams from all over the country coming. Um, local area, uh, Texas, Oklahoma, Colorado, Arizona. But we have a team uh, flying in from Virginia on the East Coast, and we have a team coming from the Northwest in uh, Washington. So, um, yeah, like we said, this is the biggest uh, wheelchair basketball tournament uh, New Mexico's had. So admission is free. How does how does the did you make this happen through donations? How does this work? Um, donations uh, to our organization are 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 the lifeblood of 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 being able to put these kind of events on and enable uh, um, the programs to exist. There's a program called Global Opportunities, right? Tell me about that. Uh, Global Opportunities Unlimited is uh, a nonprofit organization that promotes. Um, uh, activities for uh, uh, disabled individuals. Um, obviously we do the wheelchair basketball, um, but we also do programs like hunting and fishing, horseback riding, off-road trekking, uh, all, all sorts of adaptive programs. How can people learn more about this if they want to participate in helping out this organization? Um, so uh, Global Opportunities has a website at GoUnlimited.org. Um, and we also have uh, the Albuquerque Kings website at abqkings.org. All right, so this weekend is when the classic is taking place. Again, krqe.com, you can find more information, but remind, remind us one more time about the times. Um, game started at 8.30 uh, on Saturday and Sunday. Our first, Albuquerque's first game is at 10 o'clock. All right, fifth annual tournament. So glad to have you guys. We'll have that information under KRQE links. Thanks so much, and good luck with the tournament this weekend. Thank you. Well, thank and you very, very much. And with your organization. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate Thanks. it. We'll be right back. Stay with us.